do today in Missouri is work for ratification. We only need three more states. You know, this looks balanced and like the country's equal on this and like both sides are supported equally. 35 states have voted to ratify the amendment. And not only that, two-thirds of the population have said, yes, we want equal rights for women and we don't want to go backwards. We don't want to have women have a harder time than they already have. And we only need three states. And do you know how many people are standing in the way for full rights for women under our Constitution? Less than one dozen legislators. Well, Twelve well, men. That's what stands in the way for women to get full educational and full eco economic opportunities under our Constitution. Yeah. And just look what happens when you put ERA on referendum. ERA was given to the voters in the states of Nevada last November, and they beat it two to one. ERA was put on referendum in Florida last November, and they beat it by 60 percent. And ERA was even beaten in the great state, liberal state of New York, by more than 400,000 votes. When you put it up to the people, they don't want it. The way Mrs. Schaff. Thank you for watching this clip that's in the Phyllis Schlafly archives. You know, the archives are kept at the Phyllis Schlafly Center in the heart of America in St. Louis, Missouri. Phyllis built that archives up and she made sure it was accessible to researchers and interested people and conservatives who might want to find out more. You know, in the archives, you'll find all kinds of things. This is one of her famous books, The Power of the Positive Woman. In the archives, you'll find all the notes behind that and how Phyllis went forward to figure out how to write all these great books and communicate these messages. Go to phyllisschlafly.com and you can find out more and schedule an opportunity to come visit the archives. Again, thanks for watching this clip.